All new at 11, it's a problem that almost no one wants to talk about and is costing our community more lives than murder. But while you may not want or maybe can't talk about suicide, it's turning into a public health crisis that has reached its highest levels in 30 years. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt has more on the experts and survivors who want to break the silence. What happened? Did you take some pills? Did you cut yourself? A little. A little bit? Indianapolis set a record last year for homicides, but even more people died last year from suicides, a record 162 individuals who killed themselves. It used to be um, not too long ago that we just didn't even say the word suicide. The word suicide became a difficult word because of the stigma and the public condemnation attached to killing oneself. In Indiana and across the United States, it's the second leading cause of death for individuals ages 10 through 34. We were treating his depression like he had high blood pressure. Take your medicine every day and we don't talk about it. Kurt Bratton died of suicide at age 19, a death triggered by an underdiagnosed mental illness. Suicide has emerged as a public crisis, one that requires that we give mental health the same importance as physical health. Mental illnesses are treatable and suicide is preventable if we're smart about mental health and we, and we understand the scope of the problem and, and are prepared to respond. My new diagnosis is bipolar. Um, and a lot of that is the, the suicidal thoughts that I have. Stephanie Brody, a wife and mother of two young children, wrestles with depression. Her 28-year-old brother died by suicide in 2010. His death has made her realize the need for constant vigilance when her illness begins to overwhelm her. When I go through a depression cycle, uh, it's it's on my mind a lot. I've, I've never attempted, but I definitely think about it. Community Hospital has a five-year grant that funds a zero suicide initiative targeting young children and young adults. Patients served by its many providers are routinely screened for depression and suicide risk factors. The program also has a public education component aimed at changing the culture and the conversation about suicide. That means suicide prevention training, learning the warning signs, the risk factors, and how to ask someone if they've thought about suicide. Stephanie Brody uses her brother's death and her own struggles with mental illness to help others. She now coordinates Fort Wayne's Out of the Darkness Walk to help survivors find answers to those difficult questions about loss, grief, and whether they too have thoughts about suicide. I'd rather you be angry and alive that I've asked you this than to be um, not with us anymore. And so I absolutely will ask someone and not care if they're going to be mad at me because I'd rather them just be mad at me and be here than to not be here. Mental health professionals don't view suicide as an easy way out, but rather as an inability to cope. And mental health and suicide have slowly emerged in the public conversation, which could put some on a path to hope and intervention. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.